Bugs happen in computer hardware because transistors are getting smaller. When they get smaller, we can pack more and more of them into the same computer. So they get a lot more complex. It's hard to make sure everything works. The goal of my research is to get computers to help engineers find these bugs using machine learning techniques. One of my projects uses computer games to help solve a computer science problem. When engineers try to verify computer processors, it's a lot like trying to solve a logic puzzle. Verification is making sure that a computer processor does what it's supposed to do. So I made a computer game that is a logic puzzle, and when a player advances to the next level, they solve another piece of the verification problem for a real computer processor. So your question is, what if we had an isosceles pointer? Working with smart and motivated students here at Michigan is really exciting to me. My goal is to get students actively involved in my lectures. It creates an experience that can be a lot more fun and a lot more engaging. I think that being exposed to areas outside of computing can help students stretch outside their comfort zone and help them learn about the process that is being creative. I worked with a team of students on a project for 42 hours of recreativity, where student groups have 42 hours to take reused materials and turn them into some kind of a final product. The five of us found a free piano on Craigslist. My group then spent the whole weekend disassembling this piano and turning it into a set of tables and chairs. My students are going to change the world when they combine computing with creativity. Students have the opportunity to learn about some of the basic building blocks of computing in my classroom. And then afterwards, it's my hope that they would combine these basic building blocks in new and creative ways.